Hi hey guys, just a quick tutorial screencast on um, how to use Block Trotter, which is a really beautiful email RSS delivery. Hello. Ich bin noch ganz schön frei, das ist hier schon voll. Ich muss nämlich auch umziehen. Du musst jetzt auch umziehen. Ja. Ähm, also bei ihm weiß ich, ich habe seinen Namen vergessen. Der da sitzt der Paul wahrscheinlich, ne? Ja, wobei der Paul der war jetzt die letzten Tage nicht da. Nee. Nee, er ist bei mir nicht. Nee, der Mehrer ist noch. Der der Mehrer ist noch. An, ansonsten. <lacht> dazwischen. <lacht> Oder ist einer. Manchmal sitzt da einer. So eingefällt. Eingebettet ein in Stein. Ja. <lacht> Alles klar, Bis später. 3, 2, 1. Hi guys, just a quick tutorial screencast on um, how to use Block Trotter, this beautiful tool, the right way. Um, wh wh what can you do with Block Trotter and, and why could you use it? Um, let me just demonstrate how I use Blockchain to, to um, deliver myself RSS updates into my inbox. Um, so let's take this usage example. I use an editor called Atom, uh, which is an open source um, coding editor, um, which I quite like. And I would like to, um, the, the, the downside is that it doesn't notify me uh, about new release updates and also and the, the the problem is i'm on ubuntu linux and um the the packages that are in the repositories of a lot of software in ubuntu is quite outdated and and therefore i prefer to stay updated on the latest releases and fetch the packages myself instead of relying on on the repositories so having said that um what, the, the, what I now, what I can do now with um, thanks to Block Trotter is um, getting the RSS feed of the releases. So I I went on the Atom releases page on GitHub, which lists all the releases here, as you can see, uh, with nice with nice tags, and um, using another very small extension for Chrome and Chromium, which is called show you RSS Atom feed preview, I can get the RSS feed URL to feed into Block Trotter. So step by step, I click on this icon, which is provided by show you. Um, I get the Atom release notes feeds. So what show you does is it for each page you're visiting, it automatically discovers and recognizes embedded RSS feed URLs. So, and now what I can do is I can tell, show you, please subscribe to this RSS feed with my desired service. And in this case, it's Block Trotter. So I click on go and I'm forwarded to Block Trotter. And as you can see, it nicely inserts the RSS feed URL into the sort of input field that is required by Block Trotter to tell Okay, I want to subscribe to this URL with my email address in real time or daily, whatever you want. And then the, the very beautiful thing that is happening now, I go into my email inbox and I get these, because I'm, I'm heavily using email as my main sort of productivity tool and communication tool, I get an email each time a new release is put into the world meaning that also the RSS feed is telling me, wow, guy, look, there's a new uh, version out there. You might want to download it. Um, that's, of course, not the sort of the most automatic way I can think of, of getting new software updates, but at least it tells me there's a new version. Just go to the website and quickly download the latest version. Um, so this is my use case for using Glock. Block Trotter to get um, the latest updates on uh, release packages. Uh, but of course, there are many other ways you could imagine to use Block Trotter from 
just getting the latest news item on a really hourly basis or getting an update of a block um, which is only updated let's say once a month um, so if you have any questions or if you want to discuss a point that I made um, which is still unclear just head to the comment section and I'm happy to help you so thank you and see you at the next video